Hey everybody, it's Chris at Oak Street Garden Shop in Crestline yeah. Village. The other day, um, I showed you a planter when we were talking about pine cone wreaths, and that particular planter, which is right down here, has a plant called Fatsia Spider's Web. Hey Liam. And Fatsia, you y'all might be familiar with Fatsia, uh, the green version of it, which is which lends a real tropical uh, air to a garden. This particular variety called spider's web is grown for this leaf that has a little bit of that white uh, variegation, um, modeling on it. And this one, it gets, gets a large size too. It gets about four to five feet, about three, four feet wide. So, you know, you wanna give it a little bit of space in your garden. It's a shade plant. And this particular Fatsia is hardy to zone seven to nine. Uh, with climate change, we're closer to zone eight here. So uh, we, we have good luck with this Fatsia in the shade garden. And you can also use it, if you don't have a space outside for this, this would also make a very good house plant. Um, if you use it inside, you wanna be sure you give it plenty of light to hopefully hold that, that, uh, that leaf variegation. But outside, um, it sails through the winter at my house in a protected area. And in the fall, it puts up some white, pretty, pretty white blooms that the bees and the pollinators really love. I, I've got lots of pictures last year of mine when it was blooming. Um, in the spring, you can cut this back if it's getting too large for your area. That's the time when you wanna prune if you're gonna prune a fatsia. So I just wanted to show you this really cool plant. We have it in stock now. It's a little bit harder for us to find. So I wanted to let you know we have it. Um, come see us, it's the beginning of November. Uh, we're here from 9 to 5.30, Monday through Saturday. If you'd like to see more videos like this and you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button.